Hey everybody, it's Millie with Crafting in My PJs. Welcome to my channel. Today is a review video for a planner that I purchased from Core Create Crafts. Now, I have a subscription to their vintage box. I receive it monthly. I have done box openings for the past six months. Um, I am gonna continue to receive the box, but I'm not gonna do any more um, box openings because I think I've done that sufficiently for you to see whether or not this is something you would wanna do. CoraCreateCrafts.com, their website, their shop, is devoted to kind of gear toward people who like to do junk journals or vintage type crafting. So a lot of, and it's very themed. So there's monthly themes and then those themes come into their uh, products that they sell. They sell planners and journals, not planners, I'm sorry, planners is new. They sell journals, they sell journaling supplies, washi tape, vellum, um, stamps, wax seal supplies, that kind of thing. So I love their products. I think they are of high quality. I think they are very detailed. Well, sometime in the fall, around October, I would think, they introduced a pre-order for a planner, like Happy Planner. I have never had a Happy Planner. Um, I have date books. I am not a person that uses electronics to keep track of my life. So I don't use my cell phone calendar or my iPad calendar, but I do have a large size, like eight and a half by 11 size ringed binder. I like my months. I don't like the week, the daily as much, like a weekly one, I like a month. So um, I do get that and I use it methodically for work. So I saw the planner pre-order and I was very excited but very worried because I'm not used to a happy planner type thing. And I'm gonna say happy planner just because that's the only thing I have to relate it to. So what I really need is your feedback in the comments below. Um, what do you think about what I'm gonna show you? All right, so I, I did receive the planner on Saturday the 30th. I was literally walking out the door going to my friend Suzanne's, we were getting together to print some pictures and work on our journals from our Harry Potter trip in November. And so I brought it with me and I filmed myself opening it, no microphone or anything like that. So, and you'll hear Suzanne and I'm gonna play that right now. So this is my first raw opening of the planner. And um, I hope you enjoy it. All right, so we're gonna play that right now. Discover 12 themes to inspire your journey, making your planner truly one of a kind. This signature vintage style planner is your passport to creativity, organization, and adventure. It is a ring planner. Add and remove pages as you see fit. Customize, create, and make it your own. A unique vintage map, soft leather cover. An undated layout. Start your planning at any time of the year. And what's inside? A weekly horizontal layout form from Monday to Sunday. Monthly and yearly pages layout. Some pre-decorated theme pages and some blank fully customizable pages. 12 themed sticker sheets and 12 vellum sheets, a decorative separator sheet with elastic closure, 
travel inspiration pages, world map, U.S. National Parks list, 100 GSM smooth light quality cream paper. So, as you can see, the planner is beautiful. It is definitely a leather co cover, not a leather-like cover. Um, it comes with 12 vellum, and they are hard. Um, I'm going to bring you down to the table, and I'm going to show you. I'm wiggling my chair closer. I'm going to show you um, everything that's in it. I have it now sorted and organized the way I like it. And now... I, I think it's a beautiful product and I think anybody would be happy getting it. I am not affiliated with Core Create Crafts. I am just a customer. That's it. But I'm going to give you some of the improvements, if it was me, that I would make to this kind of planner. And where I need your feedback is, is this what you're going to see? Is this how most planners are? And um, my feedback is really moot. I don't know. All right, so let's go down to the table so I can show you my planner. Okay, so here's the planner. Beautiful soft leather cover with this map design. And they did carry this theming here. I'll bring you closer. They did carry this theming through to at least the beginning of the journal. So... Um, it does have an elastic closure. This is the first thing if I had a if I had any say in the matter, I think I would change. The elastic closure, or I guess you could use it to mark your place in the journal, is attached to a very thick um, plastic 
vintage page. If it was me, I would like my elastic closure to be attached to my cover so that when I do close it, um, it would be the cover, but I get it works. It works fine. See, that's where the, the attachment is. It's just that I think that would be what I would prefer, but this seems to be working. All right, so as I said in my opening box portion, it is there are some decorations and it's themed. So you do have these um, vellum sheets, which are way thicker than typical vellum. So I am going to use mine as dividers in between the months. Now, there are, hold on, let me find, let me find the beginning. So once you begin here, this is the first page. It comes, this is still part of that intro with the parks. It comes straight to the months. So unfortunately, I guess I'm still going to put my divider here. Um, even though it kind of breaks this up and I'm not happy about that, but that's okay. I mean, you know, I can live. I can't change out this theme because it is on this monthly page and the monthly page is backed with this. So it is undated, unmarked, so you can make this open-ended to any, you can start it whenever you want. The week starts on Monday. I really prefer my working calendars for my week to start on Sunday. I'm not used to the Monday. I've had calendars like that. Throws me off. That's pretty minor. I know. The other thing is I like one month and then I would like my weekly. So I wanted one month and then I wanted um, four weekly sets of pages. Now, I ran into problems with the calendar, like the monthly calendar is printed on both sides. So they give you 12, but like this one is pretty much wasted because now I'm starting my weekly. I would have liked it if they would have put like a blank note page on the back of both sides of the monthly calendar because you'll see where I move on to what will be February and okay yeah you see a blank page you see a blank page because I took their sheets and I scanned it onto my printer at first I tried to do it on like a a crew but it was it didn't work I happen to have it so I just did it on white paper and I made the first part of the monthly calendar oh there's two of them here <laughs> that's so funny I may let's take that one out <laughs> I made it must have stuck together I made it so that it opens up together and I'm not wasting this side of the page, but I can still use this. I will probably use this side of the page for goals and things that I want to have done that month. So that was one thing I found a little off-putting. And the same thing happens when you start with, because you can see, say this is February. So here's February. But then when I turn the page, I have this extra sheet here and it wastes part of your monthly sheets. And you can't just buy monthly sheets. You can buy the entire soft insert, but it's, it's, it, it's too expensive for me to do that. So that's why I went ahead and I scanned and printed 12 of those. Now I didn't do the back sheet because again, then when I go to do the month, the weeks, it's now, it's going to start with Friday. Well, I don't want to start with Friday. I want to start with Monday. I want my Monday through Friday here or Saturday, Sunday. So what I end, will end up doing is attaching these two pages together so that when I turn, 
it will go straight to my weekly and then usually two weeks out of each month they do have some light decoration on those pages and you see another wasted page and that that makes me sad again I can attach this to it and I'll have a note section and I move on to my next month which this is the page that I um, Xeroxed so if I if I could add in any kind of critique for maybe future planners, and nobody's listening to me, but this is my critique. I would prefer if we had a choice of starting Monday or Sunday. That's my newt. I can deal with this if I have to. I would like my monthly pages to be blank on both sides so that I could put them wherever I want, open up, see this, and you can make it a nice note page. It doesn't have to be like this where it's just white. You can make that note section. The other thing, I would do the same thing with my four weekly um, pages. I would make the first page blank and the last page blank so that in a set of four, so that I could take notes and it doesn't waste those pages. For the months, I had 12. So of course, when I printed 12, that gave me some extras. And for the weeklies, I did have extra pages. There were plenty of weekly pages so I did not print anything with a blank side. I had plenty left over to use as I see fit. And um, so I'll show you real quick. The other thing is um, it is lightly decorated and there was only one spot where the decoration on one side um, was not the same theme as the decoration on the other side. Not that it won't go together well. It will because it's all very vintage but just in case and if you are a core create crafts customer and you do their vintage boxes their subscription boxes you will recognize some of the artwork and so you can take some of the pieces that you've already got like I already have some washi tape that will match a lot of this so the stickers this one was like a writing um, I don't know if it has it on here but writing, okay, that was that theme. And again, that had to be January because of it backed up the intro. The second, another, the second one is like woodland animals, forestry theme. This is the, the mushroom page that my friend. Now I will end up taking these vellum pages and putting them in front and that is gonna be my divider and I will add tabs to them. All right, and then my third theme was like a lavender. Uh, it looks like it's some sort of, um, I don't know if this was supposed to be part of the country, the English countryside, but it's beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? And then um, a lot of lavender to go with it. I know my English countryside didn't have a lot of lavender, but it did have that kind of look about it. And then the next month was, is um, trains, I see trains. So trains and transportation. Oh, travel. You see, I would have liked this to have been in the front as part of that first to kind of bleed in from the intro pages, but I can't because my first month page backs up the intro and it's the, the writing. So I couldn't change that around. Or I could have. I really could have. But, you know, in my, in my little OCD brain, that didn't work. Okay, and then the next theme were these. I'm not sure what it is. Um, it looks like... I, I don't have this one. I don't know if this is um, some sort of, like, dark... It's not dark academia, but maybe... 
I don't know, vintage women, but it's kind of that Phantom of the Opera look about it. Um, then the next one is uh, the butterflies and again, some more woodland animals, forest jewel, maybe. That's the theme there. And then um, let's see. This one is, oh, this one's astrology, astronomy, astronomy, sorry, astronomy. And then the next one is uh, like an Egyptian, ancient Egypt. It's all very beautiful. I'm very happy with it. I would order it again next year. I definitely will order um, another insert for next year. Cabinet of Curiosities, and some of the Advent stuff would go with that, so the stamps and everything. I can't wait. That's why I wanted to get this um, video out so that I can actually do something with it, like, you know, set it up. So this is kind of like the seamstress kind of thing. So I assume that vellum went with that. I didn't see anything else it would have gone with. And then this is like Enchanted Forest, maybe, um, or Myths and Legends. I can't remember, but I have this vintage box. I can't remember exactly what it's called, but I remember the sword and the stone kind of thing. Um, and then this one is like the English Gardens, or Country Gardens. Beautiful. All right, and then like I said in the other video, these vintage on here and then some great quotes that if you want to add to your book, you can. And there it is. It is beautiful. It measures seven inches wide by nine, so it's nine by seven. Um, the front says planning companion. This is not going to be my work organizer. It is actually going to, because that one gets too messy. And I don't want this to be messy. It is actually going to be more of my organizational journal. And so I will have fun with this one. Um, let me bring you back just a little bit. There you go. So there you go. There is my very um, personal critique of what I would change. Hopefully they will take some... Um, messages from customers about maybe maybe I'm not the only one that feels like we could have a little bit more separation in some of these calendars but I love it I absolutely love it I would buy it again um, and I will put it down the website down in the description below so you can go to their website and see what they offer as far as the planner goes I purchased the full planner but I I, I purchased it at a cheaper, there was a pre-order rate that was cheaper than what's on the website now. Uh, and I think this is their first one that they've put out, planner-wise. All right, that's it, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.